After two days of legal combat between lawyers representing the electoral body IBC, the opposition coalition NASA and the Katiba Institute, five court of appeal judges have retreated to sift through the arguments and render a verdict that will have a major impact on the august presidential contest. I don't know how many minutes there are. It's not quite a wrap-up, but I'll try as quickly as possible. The NASA lawyers told judges Milton Makandia, Agnes Murgo, Kathurima Mtoinoti, William Oko, and Patrick Kiage that the IABC chairman had no role in the verification of the presidential results announced by the 290 constituency returning officers. Why would the IABC challenge a decision of the High Court that enhances openness, accountability, verifiability? I only had one that there is a danger that the IEBC appointed returning officers might inflate the results. <laughs> and that's outrageous. IEBC has argued that High Court judges Agri Muchalule, Weldon Korir and Chacha Mwita misinterpreted the Constitution and took away functions assigned to the Commission Chair as the returning officer in the presidential election. According to IEBC, the 290 constituency returning officers can only declare the parliamentary results with finality but relay the presidential poll outcome to the IEBC Chair for verification and declaration, a position opposed by NASA and Katiba Institute, arguing it created room for rigging. That in order to address the mischief of the ballooning of results or the decreasing of the results, you would have a provisional result that is transmitted. That is in the regulations. The suspicion is unfounded that the chairperson or the commission lock themselves in a dark room and alter. The commission argued that verification of the presidential results did not mean alteration of the figures and that failure to scrutinize the numbers coming from the 290 constituency returning officers was a recipe for chaos. In other words, when all the chips are down, the findings or the finality of the results of the presidential elections do and will eventually determine the acceptance of those results by either sides of the political divide. We, we are being told to believe that it is impossible in an adult population of over 20 million people to get 290 trusted people who will not alter results. My Lord, to me that is an abstract. The five court of appeal judges will render their verdict on the IBC appeal in a fortnight. But however they rule, the matter is likely to head to the Supreme Court due to the competing political interest and the matter at hand. In the meantime, IBC and NASA lock horns again on Wednesday before High Court Judge George Odunga. The opposition coalition wants the court to nullify the appointment of 290 constituency returning officers and 47 county election managers over what it termed non-involvement of political parties in compliance with the election's general regulations. Francis Gashuri, JKL.